hey guys welcome back in this video we will transfer data between two application using the relationship okay in fact there is two ways to transfer data between applications through relationship or through crossover domain in this video we will focus on relationship okay so let's start let's go to our maximum system okay okay you should have an administration user like max admin or anyone in this group okay here we go let's go to platform configuration database configuration first of all we will create we will create a relationship between asset application and work order application <coughs> okay so a through okay through comments if we, if I add a comment to a work order it will directly transfer to the asset application okay so first let's go to the asset object okay we will create a new attribute called asset comment okay a new row let's call it asset attribute asset comment sorry okay asset comment and the title will be also asset say comment nothing user comment related to asset okay length will be 100 and search type will be let's say world card Okay. That's it for this attribute. Let's save it. Okay, it need to apply the database configuration. So let's save it first. Okay. Okay, let's turn on our admin mode to apply the database configuration since it's structural database conf structural change in the database. Okay, wait a moment. apply database configuration yes we have a backup start configuring the database okay wait a moment finish refresh ok 
Okay, now it's finished. Okay. Done. Okay. So this has to be was created, so let's go to work order application to create new relationship between asset application and work order application. Okay. Okay, let's call it it's call it asset to or to work order asset to work order link child I think will be asset object okay let's choose it the relation will be asset where asset num equal asset num and site id equal column site id okay Okay, relation, relationship, so we need to bind, asset, and work order together, that's remark for us, okay, save. Okay, now we we created our relationship. <coughs> okay, that's it. Boom. That's it. That's it. Num and set ID equal site ID. So and to apply, we I think. We don't need to apply database configuration, so it's a normal structure change. Let's so go to our asset again to check if our attribute is exist. Attribute filter asset comment is asset. Okay. Let's turn off admin mode. It's just a practice to set admin mode off. Okay, it's okay, it's off now. Okay, it's a good, it's we'll go out and log in again. Okay, now we created our attribute and our relationship. Let's go to Let's go to application designer to add okay new field or to add to asset application and recorder application. Okay asset asset first of all we will add 
Pixel field to asset application. Let's go to asset. Change. Okay, we can set. Or text. No problem, we will add it here from control balloting. Okay, oh, is this is it? Yes, that's it. Okay, it said text box here. Here, okay, no problem. Let's bind it to. Asset comment attribute will be asset comment and that mode will be default so we can read and write it okay okay save let's Go to work order application or track. Okay. We will add new text box here also to see the relation between work order and asset. So when this tab it said text it box. Okay, it's about to properties. Okay, it's asset to the name of the relationship that we've been created. Dot asset. Comment. Okay, that's it. Input field we will make it as a default to read and write to make a change in the recorder also. Okay, if we don't need this, we can make it read only. Let's save. Uh, let's test our application. Let's go to assets. Create a new one. Okay, this is our comment. Let's call it test. Test. Say. Just comment, just comment, okay. Save. Let's change status to use it so we can use it in our recorder. Breathing, okay. Okay. 
okay let's go to our recorder tracking okay create new one select our asset as this comment as it's it this comment relation ship okay so we can edit these value at any time Initial recorder Let's go to our asset Test Comment Search for it Okay, so the comment is shown here and so what is this? Let's choose another one. Say test. Okay, let remove. So I think and just comment. Save. I think we should again just let's choose this. Okay, that's it. Just choose this. Okay, it's ended because those are created later after this recorder. Okay, let's try another one. We will create a new asset. Go to asset. To test our connection. New one. Test. Asset. Test. Asset. Okay, comment. Test. Asset. Function. Save. Change status. Show in rating. Okay. Return with volume. Okay, test. Asset function. Okay. I hope guys you you benefit and you get the idea from this video. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.